Hello everyone, welcome to the Metal Galaxy channel. For those who already joined the group, the Metal Galaxy on Facebook know already what this uh, video is going to about. And for those who don't, join us as you won't miss out on, on interesting metal news, information about our interviews and much more. So join us. And basically I'm doing this video as I got a, as we got a gift uh, package from at our uh, Metal Galaxy headquarters from Avum, Lucio, and Richard. So thank you guys. And no unboxing, unfortunately, as I just run downstairs, ripped the packets open. And yeah, that was basically how much it was. So it was just show what came to our headquarter shirt, Avum. Yeah, it's nicely fitting. It's a female one, so great fit. Uh, so yeah, impressions. So it came in 2014 and it's the first uh, album that uh, Lucille sang on. And we are not going to talk about it as we have something much more recent, much more hotter from the oven, Multiverse just released and produced in the midst of the pandemic. And for those who think that we've got this gift set and that it will be a straight uh, forward uh, review, well, it won't as I'm a big AFM uh, fan. And for these reasons, I have my expectations as a fan. So you'll discover in this video if my expectations were met, surpassed, or I was disappointed. So listen to the whole interview and you will know but before i'm going to talk about the uh, album and dive deeper into details let's start from the beginning how did i met them and then the artwork and then i will just discuss uh, the music style the songs and uh, the videos that they produced for this album and in the end, you will hear a short summary. So yeah, basically the beginning, how do I know them? Well, it all started two years ago when our friend Land was coming to the Netherlands near my hometown, Arnhem, um, our friend Land. And I was really interested when I saw the advertisement as they supported uh, Blind Guardian uh, before. And it was a really impressive gig as the live act was amazing and it's just a middle easter band that i haven't before so in 2018 i went for our friend land but i came back astonished by avon and the very reason why i was so astonished by avon is the first thing you see them on stage it's completely a different world because they're so theatrical they have a dancer and so on and theatrical thing is well i think it's not so known in metal and it's just called your eye and it gets the attention so and then they started uh, to sing and i must say that the duet between hydra and lucille it's brilliant and it's quite different uh, than a symphonic metal. We have a lot in the Netherlands. And I think it's true what Lucille said that opera is Italian and this band has like a lot of Italian and English mixed uh, together. And I can't recall a band who does that. Like, of course, La Conacol has some Italian song, but it's not a consistent. And with AFM, it's a really core element of their music. And I think it's great because it's nothing alike from all the symphonic metal bands you already uh, known. And I think it's a big advantage as well, as it doesn't put Avum into the shadows of big bands like Night with Taria, Witting Temptations and other ones. Uh, so yeah, the live experience was really good, good. And like the music was, I could hear pretty well all the songs and so on. And yeah, the third comment was fun. And so I was so astonished. I just asked the guys from In Vain, which are uh, now friends as well at the Metal Galaxy, if I could have a chat with Avon. And they were like, yeah. And they basically kicked out Lucio and Hydra out of their uh, beds. So I had a really nice chat. And they are really cool uh, guys. 
Uh, so the band was back in my mind. And then this year, in the midst of the pandemic, in April, they released for uh, the release Spark of Light. I was like, uh, sci-fi and metal, like, what's this? But then I listened to the whole song and I was like, whoa, like, it's something not done before. It's like, it's, it's like the music and so on to do it is a little bit different. It's hard to describe, but... I thought it was really uh, fresh from the singing uh, point of view, but also the visuals, it was really great and it just uh, gets you into the sci-fi uh, topics. So for this reason, this very song, Spark of Life, just got me hooked into multiverse and I was like, I have to ask Avon from an interview just uh, to have a chat like I had like two years ago. But I also want to know more about multiverse. So the rest is basically history. So let's now talk about the artwork. So multiverse, it's quite old. It's blue and I don't know what this is supposed to be. Uh, so yeah, this is how it looks like. And then this is Theo just put it out. Oh, um, there you go. And then the booklet. Of course, the booklet for those. So, so, yeah, this is basically the booklet. And, yeah. And it's odd on yourself, but music is like you're supposed to listen to. And when I put it uh, in my CD player, I must say that everything in this artwork made sense as you are going to travel through the layers of time and space. And this is the reason I would say uh, this album, this cover is a great way to uh, just rep, uh, just get yourself familiar with what the album is about and it's nice to have something different on yourself uh, so yeah that's basically the artwork so let's now talk about um the songs i could talk a whole day about Avon and what the great uh, music uh, they produced uh, so yeah, basically about the songs and so on. What I noticed is that the songs are very different from this Kronia and Impressions, their previous work. Uh, like, of course, if you listen to uh, Avon from uh, like for a long time and you're a seasoned uh, listener, you would expect something different. As for example, Impressions uh, was much more theatrical and this Kronia was much more symphonic. But this, this particular album, Multiverse, it's totally a different direction. I would say it's more uh, electronic. And I would say it's a bold uh, move. But at the same time, it's what art is all about, just experimenting and just discovering unknown territories. And for this reason, this is one of the reasons I love the band so much, as they are not afraid to create something fresh and unique. And yeah, that's basically the style and the song that really stands out is Black Honeymoon. As Black Honeymoon is for is like a electro body music uh, style song, like EBM called EBM, and it reminds me of Chris Paul's latest work, She Hates Emotions. And I'm a big EBM listener. I really love this uh, genre. So I loved, of course, Black Honeymoon, but it's a hard call for me to say if this is a smart or bad choice uh, from Avon to do, the, uh, to do this uh, song. Uh, so yeah, that's another one that caught my interest was Cold Spot. As Cold Spot is the first time that Hydra is growling and I think it's great for a singer to just evolve, try new things out. And like always, the uh, his voice compliment Lucille. So I thought it was a great, well done uh, song. And I'm really curious how Hydra is going to evolve in the future. And yeah, another song, it's uh, quite interesting, is called uh, Terre, as it is sung in uh, French. 
And this song, uh, yeah, and the friends makes the song really stand out as Lucio put it also, it's much more sweeter and the lyrics, the singing style and the mood, it's just very coherent. But the fun fact is that I didn't notice that it was in uh, sung in um, French. This film had put out, and for this reason, I would say it's quite a pity that I film haven't produced yet a medieval book, as it's a very uh, complex uh, band with a lot of layers, and as a result, it's very hard to get through and truly uh, discover what the band has uh, really to offer. And yeah, basically to just uh, help you, I think, to understand the album, I think the videos were a great addition and Spark of Light, I already told you that this was an album uh, song that introduced to the sci-fi team, but uh, another one that caught my interest was the time machine. As the time machine, for the first time, you just get an understanding why Avon is theatrical. And it's a great uh, video, especially for those who didn't see uh, the band live, as they get a better understanding what the band is all about and so on. But the time machine is great from another uh, point of view. Uh, this video is indicating that you are going to travel through time and uh, so on. And for this reason, I would say it will be much better to start uh, to start the album uh, with this song. But yeah, basically, that is uh, like what I had to say about the uh, videos and song that I liked. And yeah, there are a few things that luckily stayed the same. And the things that stayed the same is that the Italian language is still dominate. Lucio and Hidra are still singing together and the band is still complex, which makes the band unique and interesting. And uh, yeah, these are the color, uh, color elements. And I am happy to see that a band like Avon doesn't forget how it got here in the first uh, place, doesn't forget its root, and just evolve without losing its core elements. And yeah, that's basically everything I had to say about the album. So, to wrap it up, Multiverse is an excellent masterpiece uh, as it's an album with a lot of uh, layers, a lot of dimensions and it's something unique and something not done before in metal. So it really surpassed um, my uh, expectations from an uh, SNA even fan and I would certainly recommend, but I look forward for a media book in the future as I think if you, it will really help you to understand and appreciate the band uh, much more. But right now, it's a great uh, album. So let's listen to Multiverse and see you in another video. And if you're jealous, just grab. We will just provide you with all the merch uh, where you can buy it. And yeah, don't forget, of course, to subscribe as we will produce more uh, content and you will get notified then. Bye, see you next time.